guys. Welcome back. Woo, vlog number two. I feel like there's a lot of pressure on vlog number two because I should probably be establishing some type of pattern by now. And I've been questioning like, should I rant and then give a quote at the end of each one? Or should I have a product endorsement onto each one? You know what, this is a no hassle vlog, so there's no rules, so everyone's gonna be different. I'm just gonna fly by to see my pants. It's like a no pressure type vlog. But no pressure to tune in either, you know, even though I prefer that you do. If you know me, I love a good rant. I could go on forever. Like for example, Guess why I'm wearing my glasses? Because it's April, it's tax time. So today's vlog, we're gonna celebrate taxes. taxes. Mm. Mm. Taxes are an interesting thing because I think most Americans are excited to do them because they just think they're gonna get some money and they don't realize that it was their money all along and that we shouldn't be paying taxes to begin with. You know how I get that belief? I just generally, with most all my beliefs, look up exactly what Ron Paul thinks and whatever he says, I go for it. America! So what is the historical definition of a slave? The historical definition of a slave is something about how much percentage of your labor do you actually own? Well, how much percentage of your labor do you own? I mean, how much are you getting taxed here? And at what point in time do you start feeling like a wage slave? So how's that for being free? Do you feel free? I felt like I was born in this country and I dang ain't sure ain't free. Like I've got a lot of stuff I'm committed to. Speaking of commitments, this whole entire week. So back to my taxes, as I was saying about owning my own labor, I'm a wage slave because I don't own my own labor. I pay portions of it to the IRS, which is used to pay a national debt. Just the interest on the national debt. I'm sorry, it's not used to pay the national debt. It's paid just to the interest, to pay the interest on the national debt that was loaned into existence by a privately owned, ran for profit, Federal Reserve Bank, better known as the Fed. But I still sleep okay at night. But did y'all know that we actually survived quite well without income taxes? Income taxes weren't even thrown on us until 1913. And no average folk like myself even paid taxes up until well after World War II. So we went through World War II completely successfully without the average person even paying an income tax. Um, yeah, so there's that. So I think uh, what's un-American is the belief that it's American to pay taxes. Yeah, munch on that for a little bit. But here's a riddle. I'm gonna take these off because they're glary. Here's a little riddle I got for you. So if you can deduct all the expenses that you incur while you're building your profit, and we all agree that our time is valuable. I know how much I'm worth per hour. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just kidding. Um, so you agree that your time is worth money, right? Well, you cannot deduct your time on your taxes though. So you can therefore assume that the IRS is saying that your time is free. Because if your time wasn't free and you could deduct it, then you would have zero taxable income. Whew, oh crap, my blog got depressing fast. Taxes, quote, America. Ah, a good one. The power to tax is the power to destroy. I don't know quite what it means, but it sounds good. The hardest thing in the world to understand is the income tax by Albert Einstein. Now, I truly wonder if Albert Einstein said that. Okay, okay, I finally found one that I like and that I'm looking for because it's by my man, Ron Paul. Um, one thing is clear, the Founding Fathers never intended a nation where citizens would pay nearly half of everything they earn to the government. Spoken by Ron Paul. Like it. And let me be clear on what I'm talking about with taxes, guys. I'm not talking about, I do believe we need to be taxed, just not on our income taxes. You can tax all kinds of other stuff, like our roads and our sales and all the other crap that we don't need to buy, because Lord knows, America is a consuming nation. I'll end it on that. Let me get on that rant. I America consumes a lot, and I guess I'll save that for other vlogs, but if you think about Christmas time and stupid baby showers and wedding showers, and you just think about stores, there's like a million, jillion t-shirts in all these stores, and you think about these stores, and they're across a whole America, this is all so we could buy, 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 buy. Dude, I live in a tiny house. I mean, you'll see it in the whole vlog. Dude, this sucker is tiny. Let me show you how cute he is. Hi, where have you been? But anyways, that's Dr. Vegas and Miss Phoebe, and it's spelled F-E-B-E, not like Phoebe, like you would really spell Phoebe. Tiny, and I'm in like the tiny house movement and living. Watch the documentary, you'll know what I'm talking about. And of course, I'm only talking to people that don't have kids, and I'm lucky I don't have, well, not lucky, I hope to have kids one day. That's a whole nother thing. But, um, 
I live in a tiny little existence where I don't own anything and I feel so good. That goes back to that whole being tied down thing, man. I don't own crap and it feels good. And I think people don't think about that. Like on the Black Friday, the consumer in America, woo. All right, I'll let y'all go. Okay, bye. <laughs>